Training Leadership Institute, and we do this twice a year, and I am a leader of our local Toastmasters here in Rock Hill, South Carolina, where I'm the president. And so I had the opportunity of attending this great training. One of the things that I enjoy most about the training is the fact that you get to meet new people. You learn new ideas from people all over the area, the division, and you get to take back something to your local chapter of that particular, of a Toastmasters group. And as I was there in this meeting, I was listening to the leaderships, the people who spoke and the advice that they gave. And there were three things that I really was drawn into that I actually not only am taking to the Rock Hill Toastmasters, but I'm going to take with me in life. One of the things that was stated, and I heard this several times, and you can um, take it and see how it applies to your life. One of the things that they were talking about was the fact that there's always resources. There's always people who've had experiences. There's people who have something to offer you. But the missing component most of the time is what? Asking. And I was thinking about my own personal self and when I wrote, first wrote my first book, Learn How I Made a Fortune While in College. And basically in that book, I talk about the word ask. But sometimes in my own personal life, I fail to ask questions. Sometimes I fail to ask in my prayer for things that I desire, I fail to ask. And when we have a ton of resources available and we're wondering, are we in this process or where we, wherever we are, are we in it alone? We're not in it alone. All we need to do is ask for help, ask for support, ask for where you can find something and move forward. And that's simply something that I learned, one of the things that I learned today or a reminder. I always knew it was important to ask, but a reminder to ask people, ask for help. The second thing that I heard someone say is that we need to make sure that we know what you desire. How many times have you heard, or if you are, I, I am, um, I believe in God, so therefore I believe in prayer and I believe in scripture and the Bible. And so I've always heard, God knows the desires of your heart. But sometimes we fail to present those desires to him. Now, although this was a Toastmasters event, I recall the, the leader of our session saying, we can't help you even, we can't help you if we don't know what you desire, if we don't know what your path is, what direction you want to go. We can't just make it up for you. But if you share with us what your desire is, then we can lead you through the path of leadership, lead you in the direction you should go. And I started thinking about that, even though it relates to a professional organization. The great thing about Toastmasters, it is a personal development. And I started thinking about how many times God has asked me to share what my desires were, but because I either felt that he wasn't big enough or great enough, whatever it may be, that's my truth. I failed to share my desire. So as I was listening to that, I was thinking, man, even though God knows the desires of our heart, if we don't ask him, once again, there's us, and we don't state to him and share with him our desires, our visions for our lives. That's why we're here. We have to share with him what our visions are. He's given us the opportunity to experience his earth, his heaven on earth. But if you have no clue what it is that you desire, he can't really lead you because you're going to be looking for everybody else to give you what it is that you don't even know what you want. So that was the second point. State what you desire. What is it that you want? Be clear. And then the third thing I heard was to, you have to have a plan in order to be a successful organization or successful Toastmaster. You have to have a plan. You have to have a vision. And we've heard that also. Write the plan. You cannot make it as a success in your life if you're not writing the plan and making it plain, having a vision. No one knows where you want to go unless you make it a make a plan and have a vision. So those are the three things that I want to share with you that I learned from just a training, a simple three-hour training for Toastmasters that I can use in my spiritual life, my professional life, and my, my personal life. And so therefore, I ask that you ask 
if you need help. Share what your desires are. Make a plan and go for it. This is day two of Vita. That means blogging every day in August. That's right. That's exactly what I'll be doing. Blogging every day. When something comes to my mind, there's a topic or a subject, anything, and it's on my heart, I want to share it with you. I'm Sunny Jordan. Follow me at the Sunny Jordan on Instagram and on Twitter. Also, like Sunny Jordan on Facebook. And you can also visit my webpage, SunnyJordan.com. Until next time, everyone, have a great weekend. And join me in the vlogs. If you have a question or anything, let me know. Until next time, remember, I always tell you, dance to the beat of your own drum.